and girls on the flying teacup and uh, as you might hear I'm a little bit sick but hopefully that won't disturb the video too much uh, so you guys have been waiting for this video for quite some time so let's stop beating around the bush and let's talk Scorch. Scorch is an ogre class titan with a total health pool of 2500 hit points which is the largest base health pool in the game which is shared with legion. Like other ogre class titans Scorch only has one dash with a cooldown of 10 seconds. This stays true even when the turbo kit is active, though this will cut the recharge time in half. Scorch primary weapon is the T203 Thermite Launcher. With an ammo capacity of 1, Scorch can throw a fire projectile that will kill infantry immediately and deal large damage to Titan's Reapers. Upon impact, a small pool of thermite will appear and deal damage. This thermite can deal damage to Scorch if the Temporal Plating Kit is not equipped. Hey there buddy chum, pal friend, buddy pal chum, bud friend, fellow brother, amigo pal, buddy friend, chummy chum chum pal. I don't mean to be rude, my friend pal, home slice, bread slice, dog, but I gotta warn ya, if you take one more diddly darn step right there, I'm gonna have to diddly darn snap your neck. Ah, come on guys, I can't talk trash about Papa Scorch, he doesn't deserve that. I mean, look at him, who could talk trash about such a huggable face? Don't you dare touch me! Stand back! No! You know, Scorch has been my favorite time since launch. Just the feeling of whatever you do, you'll deal damage, either to the enemy or to yourself. Which brings me to Scorch's kit. First, we have Wildfire Launcher, which, well, it doesn't really do that much except loading more thermite per shot and deals more damage on impact from the primary. That's good and all, but what if you miss your shot? Then it's completely useless, and to be honest, it it still is even though you hit your shots, because your primary is used to primarily shoot down pilots, which dies in one shot either way, or light your traps on fire. So yeah, that's kind of a shit kit. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh! 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 But to be real here, you use your primary for pretty much one thing and one thing only, and that is to light your traps on fire. Sure, you can also use it to kill pilots and engage fights, but at the same time, you can use firewall to engage titans and block their escapes. The same goes for pilots, and if both comes to close, you can just use your flame shield. So why the f would you use wildfire launcher? The second kit is Thermite Plating, which was just begged to be made. I bet Respawn was like, okay, Scorch is fine and all, but people are stupid and irresponsible. The poor bastards will shower themselves in shit and die. Let's make a kit for that. So when you take this kit, don't forget your pacifier and inflatable armbands. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 hot. Then we have Inferno Shield, which, oh my god, what can I say about Inferno Shield? Uh... You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that soon. Fuel for the fire is actually pretty good. Well, that's if you're obsessed with firewall, but two seconds won't help you that whole lot. I mean, just like the thermite launcher, you will use it mostly to light your traps. And nine seconds, it's still a pretty long time. Hold on, is Scorch thermite launcher supposed to be an oversized flare gun? Like, is that what it's supposed to be? Over a thousand hours of Titanfall 2 and I just now realized that? How the f*** have I not figured that out? I'm not gonna lie. Playing Scorch is one of the best things I know in Titanfall because you really don't have to try to deal tons of damage to do so. I don't know if this just happens to me, but every time I play Scorch I always become mad and full of energy. I don't know if it's because I'm slow or that I have the power to smash five times within three seconds. But it just happens. This is the last ghostman, who is this? This is Flaming Dragon! Okay, Flaming Dragon. Fuck face. First, take a big step back and literally FUCK YOUR OWN FACE! 
Now, I don't know what kind of pan-Pacific bullshit power play you're trying to pull here, but Asia Jack is my territory. So whatever you're thinking, you better think again. Otherwise, I'm going to have to head down there, and I will rain down on a godly fucking firestorm upon you. You're going to have to call the fucking United Nations and get a fucking binding resolution to keep me from fucking destroying you. I am talking scorched earth, motherfucker. I will massacre you. I will fuck you up. Scorch Ordnance is called Firewall. Upon use, Scorch will deploy a wall of fire in front of him that will do damage. The wall will stay up for 5 seconds and then disappear. The wall can climb down but it will not be able to climb upwards. If a wall or another static object is in the path of the firewall, it will stop immediately. This ability will deal damage to Scorch if the Tempered Planing Kit is not equipped. This is fine. Honestly, I don't even know why it's called Ordnance. It has nothing to do with explosives, like all the other Titans' Ordnance. If anything, Incendiary Trap should be the Ordnance. Because that shit explodes. To be honest, you only use this to light your traps. Because you'd only use this if the enemy is in a tight spot and will force him to walk the Walk of Flames. See what I did there? Instead of saying Walk of Shame, I said Walk of Flames. Because, you know, it's flames instead of. Hey, wanna play floor is lava? Uh, no, Scorch, I I'm fine. Too late. Ah! No, but seriously, the best way to use it is to sneak up on an enemy and lay down and then push them back with a flame shield. The damage is really is fucking outrageous. I will go into more detail about Scorch defensive later, but let me just say that the damage from the flame shield is just crazy by itself. And imagine that with the damage of the flame wall. But I think the problem with the fire wall is that it's just a straight line of fire. Anyone with more than 3 IQ will just move to the side and avoid the firewall entirely. Many maps are designed like a MOBA with 3 lane design, though they are way too wide for the firewall to actually be good. Well that goes for pretty much all maps except for Rice. God damn, Rice is a nightmare to be scorched on. Scorch tactical is called Incendiary Trap. Upon use, Scorch will launch a canister that does not deal direct damage but can be lit and an explosion create a pool of fire for 5 seconds that will deal large damage to enemies that steps in the fire. If the canister is not lit on fire, it will disappear after 13 seconds. Hey, this isn't water, this is gas. Something I see a lot of people do when they play Scorch is that they throw out the gas canisters all at the same time. The reason why is because they either panic or they think they will do double damage, which I guess they does not. So if you are one of them, using two won't make the pool of fire bigger and deal more damage. It's better to shoot them in two different directions to make it more difficult for your target to escape. Oh man, you ever gonna run out of muffins? No. For everyone out there that has an experiment with Scorch Tactical, you can actually ignite it with a fire star. So you can basically pull a Uno reverse card on a clumsy Scorch who throws out his trap way too close to himself. Incendiary trap is extremely difficult to say fast and to remember, but I don't think Respawn would get that many smiles and applause if they called it the gas trap. So maybe it's for the best. Scorch defensive is called Flame Shield. The flame shield will block all incoming damage as well as dealing damage to close enemies. This ability can also trigger Scorch incendiary trap if used too close to a canister. Sounds like a lot of Hoopla! It sounds like a lot Hoopla! of Hoopla! Sounds like a Hoopla! Hoopla! Sounds like a lot of hoopla to make over a little defensive ability. Right? <laughs> Why the fuck would you use another kit than Inferno Shield? Like, you can take down any titan from full f***ing health with just one full use of flame shield. But you know who suffers the most from this? Legion. Legion, that poor bastard. Your gun is useless because the flame shield will just melt the bullets as soon as it leave the gun. And as we agreed on in Let's Talk Legion, Legion basically is his own gun. <sighs> poor bastard. Just imagine a Legion by mistake, dashing into a Scorch, who has Inferno Shield? He can literally do nothing! And then we have Inferno Shield that increases Scorch's Flame Shield's duration and... And damage! Wh what the f***? <laughs> I got a feeling that the wick is trying to tell me something. So if you had this video on mute for the past 2-3 minutes, Flame Shield melts Pretty much fucking everything. 
But not only your enemies, it can also remove things that are stuck on your windshield, such as fire stars. All you have to do is just use your flame shield and spin around until it disappears. Though I must warn you, sometimes this might not work for some reason, but hey, th this works in the first place is quite strange. God damn it, Pilot, give me a hug! For those who remember the tech test way back in 2016. Oh my god, that's almost three years ago. You could use the flame shield as an anti rodeo tactic by just looking straight up and using it. And somehow this cooked the pilot alive. Just imagine if that was a thing today. People complain about tone, but just imagine what people would say about Scorch. Scorch core is called flame core. Upon use, Scorch will create a heat wave that will deal an incredible amount of damage. Similar to the flame wall, this heat wave will not climb walls but can fall down from a height. If the heat wave hits a titan with very low health but not yet doomed, titan will go past the doom state and die immediately. The core can hit multiple targets at once, which makes it especially dangerous in close quarter combats. Where's the lamb sauce? Who needs a nuke eject when you have a fucking flaming wall of death? that literally kills anyone who has just little below half their health bar left. NOT FUCKING SCORCH, OBVIOUSLY! Meaning a tone is never fun, no matter what titan you are, but with scorch it's so much worse. If you try to hit him with a thermite launcher, her particle shield would just block it. Just like your firewall and your incendiary trap. It's like you can throw your entire arsenal but nothing will work. Except for flame core. You picked the wrong house, fool! Hey, hey! Big Smoke! It's me, Carl! Chill! Chill! CJ. Oh. Is there a Titan that can blast someone from a lot of health to pretty much not- Hold on, haven't I made this joke about something else? Am I running out of jokes? No, but seriously, this shit can blast you for real. It will skip Doomsday and kill you immediately. No matter how strong the power shot is, it cannot compare to the flame core. Well, mostly because it's a core, and that power shot is an ordinance, but because Scorch can deal so much damage in such a short amount of time, it can be up more often than other cores, so it basically feels like a Scorch ordinance. And it can also hit multiple targets at once, which makes it even more powerful and dangerous. But hey, it's fun to use. Real talk now, what is Scorch to me? Well, without doubt, Scorch is one of my favorite titans. Why I can't put my finger on. It might be the simplicity of just throwing out a lot of fire and dealing a lot of damage that is so satisfying. And that is not even mentioning the core. One thing I can find frustrating is the movement speed of Scorch and when you want to flank or rush down an enemy. But realistically, if Scorch did have the ability to move faster, he would be completely broken. Having a speed demon that can deal that amount of damage would be outrageous to fight. Besides, I think I got my point across how powerful the flame shield really is. That makes him powerful enough. But I use tempered plating all the time and it works perfectly for me. But I'm not saying that the other kits are unusable, I'm just saying that Inferno Shield is objectively the best kit of them all. Overall, I would say Scorch is a well-balanced titan. Maybe the Inferno Shield kit should be toned down, just, just a little bit. Maybe it shouldn't deal more damage and last longer. Maybe it should just do one of the two, so that the other kits wouldn't seem... How should I say it? Mediocre? Anyway, what do you think of Scorch? Is there something you would change? In that case, what would that be? And as always, thanks for watching and take care.